They, they, they did a lot, a horn, and they don't give a damn about what they did. All right? How you know they don't give a damn? They don't give a damn. If they did, they'd make a change. What change? No change. No change, bro. I, I, so, so, what's the change, bro? I'm asking you what is No change. There's no change. I'm out of motion. What they see? Ain't they not letting Mexicans come over to the land that was so-called Mexicans come over to the land that was theirs? No, it Texas wasn't. belong to Mexico. Yeah, Texas was, so why they can't come so to why support? Why they can't? Because they can't no more. I mean, why not? Why? Why not? Oh, because they can't. Because no pressure making the rules. Exactly. No change. Yeah, but, but God don't see that. God don't see that? I mean... work on me. I have to work on me. But I'm not lost anymore. We came from roaches on the floor. A notice on the door, baking soda in the jar, but now we focus on the law. It's like soap up in a cloth, the way it's soaking and it wash. It's something like good dope, cause it's potent and it's raw. I used to post up out of store, work stash behind the door. Everything I had was pure, so fiends was coming back for more. The most high opened my eyes, and then I seen that I was flawed. Now I'm addicted to these laws, because they potent and they raw. I was in and out of jail, cause in the streets, yeah, I was lost. Trying to be like all of Hustlers, they don't tell you it's a call. Shalom, 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 family. First and foremost, I have to give all praises, all glory, and all honor to the Most High God, Yahweh. Of course, I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's your brother, Ariala of Sakari, and I am excited to present to you, the nation of Israel, the official Hebrew Israelite Bible. Now, this has been the culmination of four long years of hard work, and it is available for purchase at HIBOfficialZion.com. Get yours today. All right? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, fam? Sis, how y'all doing? Yeah, y'all yeah, believe in God? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. One, one scripture, scripture, one scripture, come here, one scripture. Oh my God. There you go. He a vision, man. This is a vision, this spirit. Hey, what's your ethnicity, bro? What's your ethnicity? Mexican, Mexican and white? What's your pops? My pops is white. You are real? What about you? I'm black. Black? Okay, what's it, what you said? Mexican and white. Yeah, like your granddaddy, your pops pops. My granddaddy is white too. Real? Probably? That's tough. I mean, like, he's white, so you know what I'm saying? You think he's white like Spaniard, right? What are you talking about? Nah, he's white. My mom's Mexican, though. Oh, that's tough, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tough, yeah. Yeah, so look. We already teaching the Bible. We said what? I was just saying, gotta see. Yeah, yeah, you gotta just know the truth. So y'all believe the Bible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you something. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Let me show you what the Bible says, right? If y'all had to say a people on the earth that Christ came from, who would it be? Everybody, that's what people are think, bro. Where, where would y'all go to, to prove it? Where, where, where in the Bible he really said he came for everybody? He can't prove no. It's tough, man. Watch this. Now look at Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Bring it up. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What that mean? Read it in the NKJV. Or, or NLT or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to y'all in a different version, maybe a little bit plainer. Get to me. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24 in the CSB. He replied. I was sent only. He said what? I was sent only. He said the Father sent me, and I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So who he sent for? Who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? That's what he said out of his own mouth. He can't lie, right? So when you deal with who those people are today, you find out that blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans of indigenous descent on their father's side are the Israelites. You see what I'm saying? That's that's why I say. 
He said, about who your father is, bro. You got to find out if you really. He said, why I say that? Give me numbers 1 and 18. Like, right. Come on, show you why. Right? Because when you deal with, when you deal with what's going on, the heritage of the Bible, you deal with the people of Israel, it's about the project. You know what I'm saying? So, so what you have, right, is a seed, right? Everybody come from a seed. Who cares the seed? Who? Who cares the seed? The Mom cares the egg. Who cares the seed? The dad cares the seed. Yeah, but, okay, so Jesus came to save everybody, though, right? But he just said the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I mean, but that's your... No, that's, that's his what the word. I, 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 it's my belief because he said it. Yeah, but that's, everybody else has a different translation of the Bible. Nah, no, I mean, they don't make that a lot of them. I'm, no, I'm not saying it's a lot, but that's So check belief. this out. I mean, I can understand, yo, you want to hold, cleave, I get it. Yeah. But it's a, just, just, just seek it out, though, you see what I'm no, saying? Yeah, I, because I, you can't change what he said. No, Give me saying. numbers one. The book of Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. Bring it out. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. What's your pedigree? Your No, your pedigree. What is that? Your pedigree like your lineage. You know how like a dog. Yeah, your line, yeah, 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 your lineage. Yeah, yeah. He said they declared their pedigree, their lineage, right? After their families. After their family. By the house of their father. How you know your pedigree? By the house of their father. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we say it's about your father because that's how according to the Bible, how God set it up, you know who you are according to your father. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to know who your father is because if your father don't go back to these people, God ain't really dealing with you. According to the word. Right? You traditionally in America, how it's supposed to be, you would take your father last yeah, name. Man. And when a woman get married, she take the man last name. Because they know, they know from it in, in um, basic antiquity that that's what we was practicing. Yeah, you know, how the father, who your father is. Yeah, all right, brother. All right, tap in, bro. Hey, Shalom. All right, how yeah. would I, how would I, I how would become a part of that little if I'm white, if my dad's white? It ain't, it ain't, you can't become a part of that. It ain't nothing you can do. Well, I, ain't gonna get I mean, if, if you're not Israel, there's a lot of people that they might look like me that ain't Israelites too though. You see what I'm saying? But if they not Israelite, even if I ain't Israelite, I ain't getting saved. You see what I'm saying? So you have to be Israelite to get saved? That's what Christ said, bro. Right. Hey, give me Revelation nah, 21. I ain't arguing with you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you some cool stuff out of here. Let me show you some cool stuff out of here. The book of Revelation chapter 21, right, and verse 12. And I suck and had a wall great and high. You're talking about the kingdom of heaven, right? You're talking about they say he had a wall great and high. And had 12 gates. What? 12 gates. How many tribes of Israel is it? 12. 12. So he said, he said it had a wall. 12 gates. Go ahead. And the gates, 12 angels. And in front of the gates are 12 angels blocking these gates. It's like bouncers. You're everybody. And names written thereon. Names is written on these gates. Though. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. See this? So where everybody else come in? I agree with you. It's going to be a high yard. It's tough. Well, I'm not saying, you know, you ain't got a chance. I ain't saying that. You just got to seek out the truth. You know what I'm saying? Find out. Because if you descend from a conquistador, you descend from, you know, a colonizer, you know, ain't too much hope for you. You're realistic. You know, it's hope for you, though. I'm just being honest, I ain't trying to call it a division or nothing, but it, it, I'm just saying though. But, you see what I'm saying? The truth, the truth is just that the, the hope is for the oppressed, not the oppressor. Not the seed of the oppressed, not the seed of the oppressor. You see what I'm saying? Hey, but God, God, God forgave everybody, right? He said, forgive your sins. Forgive who sins? Like just everybody sins, right? Hey, what did he say? No, what, what did he say there? Thanks, Mark. What did he say? What you want? I did want to say, um, and he come in and say the oppressed, so your mama side, was the one oppressed. So how the conquistador gonna come over here, take over all of North America, right. rape women, put us in slavery, right. live out this good life, See, that, that's then, hold on, do all that, hold on, I'm saying, take over, yeah, yeah, yeah. change our last names, live it up in this kingdom, and then get saved by Christ on top of it. A double win. Yeah, Nigga, double win. Check, check come on, fam. Nah, give me Job 27. Give me Job 27. Yeah, I'm talking, yeah, yeah, you yeah, good, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the right question, yeah, yeah. though. good questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh. Wow! Yo! That's hard, yeah, that's dude. Dope. What's up, fam? What's, What's up, up, brother? How you doing, bro? 
The book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. You agree, right? We gotta obey God, not men. It's about what God said, not what men say. Cool. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince. To be a what? A prince. So Christ's job. According to what he was elected to do by God was to be a prince. Go ahead. And a savior. What? And a savior. And a savior, right? Go ahead. For to give repentance. To repentance. That's what you're talking about. Forgiveness of sins, right? Repentance. Go ahead. To Israel. So who? To Israel. Who getting the repentance? Oh, all the way. Do we say everybody? everybody. You see that? Repent. And. and what, oh, what, 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 what you doing, man? Man, what's your ethnic background, man? Where are you from? India? Yeah, we ain't no damn zoo up here, man. What are you doing, man? And forgiveness of sin. It says repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. To Israel. Not everyone. And you hear him. You see what I'm saying though? Yeah, so that's what it's about. It's about the Israelites. Uh, yeah, so you know, you, you know, it's tough though. You see what I'm saying? This is an RP as well. I got it. The book of wisdom of Psalm chapter 18 and verse 7. Yeah. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. Is, so of their pe of the, the, thy people, talking about the Israelites, you have to accept what? The salvation of the righteous, right? Talking about the righteous seed, talking about the seed of Israel, right? Go ahead. And destruction of the enemy. And the destruction of the enemy. The destruction of the enemies. So the righteous have to be saved. The, the holy seed has to be saved out um, from under the hand of the enemies. And then the enemies got to be destroyed. It ain't no being saved together. That's why Job 27. Go to Job. I want Job 27. I want Job 27. This is the book of Job. Chapter 27, verse 14. Right? This is the book of Job, chapter 27, verse 13. This is the portion of a wicked man. Says what? This is the portion of a wicked man. This is what a wicked man is going to be given. This is his portion. This is what he is granted, right? Go ahead. With God. With God. Now, this is what God is giving, right? Go ahead. In the heritage of oppressors. The heritage of oppressors. Right, go ahead. which they shall receive of the Almighty, and they gotta receive this from God. Right, go ahead. If His children be multiplied, if He have many children, or we become a great nation of people. Right, go ahead. It is for the sword. Right. It is for the sword. What's gonna happen? It, it is, is for, for the sword. So He can have as many kids as He want. The wicked, the oppressor, His heritage is the sword. He can. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna be cut off. Yeah, the, the, the oppression, the oppression of the people who, who were supposed to be God's favorite don't go unnoticed. You see what I'm saying? So when they did that to us, you see what I'm saying? God marked them for it. You can't just do that to my people and not get, get something done to you. You see what I'm saying? So it's saying the heritage is they can expect the sword. Um, and if it, uh, multiply it is for the sword right. and if his offspring shall not be satisfied and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread go over to uh, Job 21 and 19 right? oh yeah and that's just like saying don't you want justice if somebody came in your house killed their killed the hey, 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 hey no cameras man no pictures man slump the whole house well take a picture of the sign don't take a picture of it. yeah 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 just the sign alright yeah 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 yeah, come here, let me see. Yeah, come here, let me see. Yeah, let's come see. here, let me see. Let me see. Oh, Alright, right, go ahead. Alright, if he slump, somebody come slump your whole household and he's just still walking around and benefiting off what he did to your people. How that's right with God if you don't get justice, you won't want that even in your own mind say right now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you see what I'm saying. But how but I mean God's supposed to be everybody. Why he don't supposed to do shit but what he wants to. But that's what I'm saying. I mean you're right, but I'm saying how you know that? How I know what? But look, okay, so I got a different Bible on my phone or whatever. I can pull up a different thing. Try. Different try. But, try. Man. Pull up your Bible I'm and try saying, to find where God said saying, he forgives the oppressor. Please show me. Okay, I'll do Show it. me. I, I can't because I you don't know. You can't. It's right there. No, I don't know that. I got this. 
The book of wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and I'm starting at verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. He said the righteous got to stand in great boldness in the face of such as have afflicted him. Right? Go ahead. And made no account of his labor. Yeah, because you know what your ancestors did on your father's side. Huh? They, they, they did a lot of harm. And they don't give a damn about what they did. All right? How you know they don't give a damn? They don't give a damn. If they did, they'd make a change. What change? No change. When they see it, they shall be... No change, bro. No change, bro. I, I, you say, show me what's the change, bro. I'm asking you what No change. There's no change. I'm out of motion. When they see it... Ain't they not letting Mexicans come over to the land that was so called Mexicans come over to the land that was theirs? No, it Texas belong to Mexico. Texas belong to Mexico. So why they can't come so why is the board? Why they can't? Because they can't no more. I mean, they why can't not? Why? Why not? Because, because, because the oppression is making the rules. Exactly. No change. Yeah, but, but God don't see that shit. I mean, he sees it, but he's about to forget everybody. Listen to what you're saying. I'm stepping in. Let me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Finish that. Finish that. Finish that. Finish that. real quick, I want to address it. We're going to finish this. Go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. He said, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. That's what we're doing right now. And you got that face, read. And made no account of his labors. It's, it's, it's what it is now, right? Right, right? Because they can't come back in. You make no account of our labors, man. Go ahead. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Their face shall be what? Troubled with terrible fear. Everybody, their face shall be what? Troubled with terrible fear. So look at the face that you got right now. Go on. It shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. That should be what? And so be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. It'll be amazing when you see it, read. So far beyond all that they look for. Uh -huh. And they, repenting and groaning uh -huh. for anguish of spirit, uh -huh. shall say within themselves, right? this was he whom we had sometimes in derision uh -huh. in a proverb of reproach. These were these niggas, these were these Hispanics and these natives whose land that we took, right. whose women who we raped, who, 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 whose land we stole, did all this evil. These are the people that's going to be saved? Right. And you can't accept that. No, it's not that I can't accept it. That's just what I feel like. I That's what you like, feel like. I mean, the Lord feel like. don't care about your feelings, bro. I understand that. The Lord don't care about it your feelings. Goes versa. It goes by It goes vice versa. Yeah. What you mean? You got power over God? God don't care about my feelings and feelings about skin color. No, no, it has nothing to do with skin color. Look at this man right here. Look, hold on, no, no. Look at this man right here. Do you know who this is? You know who that is. Yeah, who, Blake who? Griffin. That's Blake Griffin. Yeah. Does, does he not have your complexion? Okay, but, but does he not have your complexion? Yes or no? His dad is a Haitian. Exactly. There you go. That's your point. This, the nationality is not a skin color. Right. Drake's son is going to be blonde hair with blue eyes, and that's still a nigga at the end of the day, man. Uh, He's going to be a Judite. Okay, so uh, if you said the air word, you would, you would let him say the air word? Yes! Because what are you but, talking but about? But his daddy is black. His daddy's a Judite. Just like his son has blonde hair and blue eyes. His daddy's a Haitian. His daddy's a Levi. What are we talking about here, man? It ain't got nothing to do with skin color, man. Matter of fact, where, where, look, wait, look at this brother right here. Is he black? No, he's not. But guess what? He's a, he's a powerful Iskarite. So what are we talking about, bro? But what is his daddy? His daddy's an Iskarite. His daddy's Hispanic. Exactly. There you go. But your whole point is... What they got to do with skin color? What they got to do with skin color, though? You brought up skin color. I didn't. I did it. You brought up skin color. I didn't bring up skin color. I can. Did I bring up skin color? Did he? You brought up skin color. Okay, then. Your message has to do with skin color. It has nothing to do with skin color. That's what we're saying. We just proved it. We literally just proved it. We said nothing of skin color. You introduced that into the conversation. Okay, Nobody I did, else. I did, I did. Okay, okay I did. then, so your subject matter is skin color. We ain't talking about that. Right. We talking about a lineage of people's fathers. Right. What about this sign? Okay, why, why, don't, why can't them people be safe? Because of what? Of they why? Why? Of we already proved it, bro. Okay, so... so okay, it, I, I, I'm going to paint this for you very plainly. Right, I'm going to paint it for you very plainly. I literally said there are people that look like me that aren't Israelites. It ain't skin color. It ain't got nothing to do with skin color, bro. Nothing to do with it at all. And, and, and just just so that way you understand completely, right? Say, do you, you have a sister or something? Someone close to you? Okay, let's say, and God forbid that this doesn't happen, right? I, I hope this doesn't happen. I don't wish this upon nobody. Let's say, for example, somebody kidnapped, tortured, and raped your sister. Does that person 
person deserve leniency and does he deserve to live? I mean, it, 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 to me, hell yeah, not. Nah. To me, hell yeah, not. Nah. So, so then why in the hell do you think God would allow people to rape, rob, and murder his people continually for over 500 years and just let that slide? You ain't more just than God, so if you can think like that, God gotta be thinking like that. Exactly, man. But it's up to him to decide if he goes to hell. If he, if he he still still oh, oh, it's up to him, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, you know what? He's, he's absolutely right. It's up to him, right? Give me Revelations 19. You getting Romans? Ro Ro Romans 9 to 24. Yeah, Romans 9 to 24. Come on, give me that. Give me a little bit, yeah, not a little bit, kids. Ro uh, Revelations 19. You, is Christ coming back to be nice? Nah, hell nah. He's gonna put everybody that's a sinner in the hell of fire. Let's find out. In the ball yeah, yeah, of fire. Just this is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 15. Uh -huh. For he said to Moses, right? I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. The Lord is going to have mercy on whoever he wants to have mercy on, read. And I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. See that? He's going to do these things. He's going to have mercy on who he wants to. He's going to have compassion on who he wants to. But guess what? These people got to work for it. Give me that. Give me the, give me the lump. Because he might think he thinks that mercy in a broader sense. The mercy, you thinking, okay, if they fool, they gonna get mercy. It's all about the Israelites gonna get the mercy. Right. The other nations. No, I, no, 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 I got you. I got you. And look, we about. And, I, I got you. And, 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 get, and guess what? And guess what? We're going to destroy that. Give me the lump, and then give me that the one lump of the honor, one lump of the dishonor. I think that's like verse twenty-four. Give me that in. Listen, uh, that first It's like twenty-four. Verse 21. Alright, this is the verse. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 21. She's on at 20. Verse 20. Okay. Nay, but O oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? Who are you to reply against God and try to dictate how he feels about a certain thing, man? Right. Read. Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? Can you honestly be like, God, why'd you make me this way? I deserve the salvation. My people, the white people that they've done all this evil, they deserve the salvation and mercy. You can't say a goddamn thing, read. Have not, um, Nahum, have not the pot of power over the clay uh -huh. of the same lump uh -huh. to make one vessel unto honor uh -huh. and another unto dishonor. The Lord is going to be the one who makes a lump of clay into honor and one into dishonor. And these people who've done nothing but these evils consistently throughout the earth, you, they, there's no way they're getting it. That is a lump unto dishonor. Go ahead. Let me show you. God, I hate them too. So this will get, help give you some context too. This is the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 13. Uh -huh. As it is written, uh -huh. Jacob have I loved, uh -huh. so he loved the Israelites, but Esau have I hated. Woo! He hates these people, man. As a matter of fact, start, start back at 11. Woo! Just so that he can't say, well, it's, what, it, it's for what they did. No. For the children being not yet born, uh -huh. neither having done any good nor evil. Before they were born, before they could do anything good or bad, read. That the purpose of God according to election might stand. He wanted this to happen the way he wanted it to happen, read. Right. Not of works, not because of what they did, but of him that called it. Because he wants it, it was said unto her, uh -huh. the elder shall serve the young. As it is written, right. Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. He hates these people, man. He hates the man Esau and all of his children. You got that in Genesis? God. Give me that. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 12, starting at verse 2. Uh -huh. And I will make of thee a great nation, uh -huh. and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, uh -huh. and thou shalt be a blessing. Uh -huh. And I will bless them that bless thee, uh -huh. and curse him that curse him. Since you pointed to this sign, these people, this nation of people, have they blessed blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, or have they cursed blacks and Spanish and Native Americans? Which is it? Well, they, they up. Oh, okay, so, so so let's read that again. What happens to the people that curse us? And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curse him. So what you think God gonna do to him? Is he gonna bless him? There you go, there you go. You said one more time? They gotta go too. Cause we've been enslaved all over the earth. What are we talking about here? Everybody that's had a hand in the destruction of the Israelites, they gotta get it, man. They gotta get it, bro. Go ahead. It says, watch this. Obadiah verse nine, and, and thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed. To the end, oh, that great. everyone, who? everyone uh -huh. of the 
the Mount of Esau uh -huh. may be cut off by slaughter. By what? By slaughter. Everyone got to get it. What is that? It says, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, uh -huh. shame shall cover you, uh -huh. and you shall be cut off forever. For what? Forever. They got to be cut off and die, man. Go ahead. Verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, uh -huh. and the house of Joseph a flame uh -huh. in the house of Esau for stubble. You know what stubble is? It's dry grass. What happens when you put fire to dry Woo! grass? There you go. Woo! And Esau for stubble, uh -huh. and they shall kindle in them and devour them, uh -huh. and there shall not be any remaining. No, sir. There shall not be any remaining. Everybody, just a little bit. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. They all got to die. They're not going to exist no more in that day, man. Go ahead. For Yahweh has spoken. For who? For Yahweh has spoken. The Lord said it, man. The Lord is the one that said it, man. Point blank period. He said these people got to get it for the evil that they've done. And then at the end of the day, they're not going to exist no more. You know what's going to happen in that day? This little thing that everybody wants. World peace. That's what's going to happen, man. You want world peace? Then all these crackers got to die, man. That's how that's going to go. All right? Hey, it's a hard pill, bro. It's a tough pill to swallow. You really, you really was all more dirty, you hear me? I got my belief, you got your belief. I mean, it's a mutual respect. Yeah, we got mutual respect. Yeah, we got mutual respect, we got mutual respect, man. Just, just, just know this, man. You, the, the, this one right here that you got behind you, you, you treat her, you treat her like a princess, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, tonight you owe her dinner. You owe her a goddamn new purse. You owe her some jewelry. You everything that you got, you give to that woman over there, man. Matter of fact, go rub her feet. Go rub her feet, man. That's what you do, man. Go do it again, man. Get it. <laughs> All right, man. You have a good one, man. No, you good, man. You good. You good. You good, man. You good, bro. I feel you, man. You got it, man. All right. All praise. What's going on, sis? Sis with the headphones. How you doing today, sis? Sis, sis, sis. It's all good, man. But with that, I want to get. What's going on with bro over here? What's... You got questions? Come on over. Wow. Hold on. Wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute, sir. Hold on. Hold on. That's very rude and disingenuous. He's right from me. I can't even hear him. Okay, well then step up to the plate, man. You're all talking together? Come talk to me then. That's very disrespectful, sir. I got it. Are you sure, man? That, that was very disrespectful, man. The worm is just worming. But with that, I want to give call hello. I'm Benaya Howard by Shalom Mashiach Malak Yahushua. Shalom.